Women, I don't think they can fight, do you? <laughs> <laughs> How hard can it be to fight a woman? <laughs> so I've come down to Penzance to have a go at Miss Kitchen here and uh, let's see what happens. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Are you, you sure? Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. Today on the Cornwall Channel, we're down in Penzance to meet Julie Kitchen, who is our world champion Thai boxer. Hello, Julie. Hello. All right then, so how long have you been Thai boxing? Um, this is my 11th year coming up. Right. And how long have you been world champion? Um, for about the last four years, right. world champion. And you've defended it successfully? I have, yeah, um, about five times in total. I hold 14 world titles right. altogether, different organisations at different weights. Right. So I've been a very busy girl. So how did you get into it then? Have you always been a fighter? Um, no, not at all. In school I was really, really shy. Right. Um, and it wasn't until after I had my children at the age of 21. Right. Um, I've got twin daughter, daughters, Amber and Leia, and I was carrying some baby weight. And right. I just went along to class really to try and burn off some calories. Right. And just got really addicted to the sport. Yeah. So you started when you were 21? Yeah, later wow, in life. That is later mm. in life, isn't it? Yeah, very yeah. good. So how long can you keep going for? Uh, well, I have officially just retired. Right, okay. Um, but mainly because of our new project here at the school, at Blytho School, right. Gems Blytho. Um, and it's great, we're part of the curriculum, uh, working along with side the school children. And I just, I'm really loving teaching at the moment, passing right. my knowledge on and working with these children. So I just want to put all my time and effort into this. Yeah. So you're still keeping your fitness up? Yeah. At still that high level? Yeah, still training. Obviously we've got um, Lucy Payne, she's our up and coming girl. So uh, I'm her main training partner and I've got to push our fighters. So I'm always training. Right. Is it an Olympic uh, sport? Unfortunately it's not. Right. Um, if it was an Olympic sport, it'd be a lot more recognized and we'd be able to have funding and grants. Um, but we don't have any of that, so any fundraising we do, we do it within the club and, you know, support of local businesses. Right. So, Thai boxing, how do you score? Um, thai boxing for adults and at my professional level is scored on, uh, like, aggression right. and uh, effect of the shots. Right. But also it's like a chess game as well. If someone's coming at you with a technique, you need to be smarter and work your move out to counteract it. So. Right. Um, if you don't understand the sport, and for people who just see maybe a fight, they might think it's really violent, yes. but I am a fighter when I've always fought, I've never fought with violence, more with like a strategy right. and um, outsmart my opponent. Yeah. Have you been injured at all during your career? Yeah, I've um, had a few injuries. Not too bad, seeing I've been fighting for 10 years. I've um, like pulled ligaments in my ankle, lots of black eyes, sore yeah. shins. Uh, but probably the worst, I've had a few cuts during my fights with elbows because yeah. you can elbow and it kind of just slices the skin. So I've had a few... Yeah. Um, cuts there probably my way. It's so fast, isn't it? It's a fast spot. I've yeah, really them. fast. There's yeah. some great stuff on YouTube, isn't there? If yeah. people want to have a, have a quick look. Yeah, definitely. Of. Lots yeah. on YouTube. But you don't want to put youngsters off from getting involved. No, but the youngsters, it's a totally different ball game for them. It's no head contact. They wear um, body armour, leg protectors. So there's like really small risk of injury. Um, as with anything, even playing football, there's a risk of a slight injury, but it is more controlled. Um, and I think it's great for them, teaching them a discipline and respect. Absolutely, yeah. In this day and age, I think it's a yeah, great thing to learn. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these are my daughters, Alea and Amber, 14 this month, right. and they both compete. And Amber's actually got a fight March 24th in wow. our hometown yeah. uh, for a world title. Wow, fantastic. So she's training really hard, isn't it? Yeah. I'll best of luck with her. Thank you. Hometown? Yeah, we're actually in the Penzance Leisure Centre. Yeah. So it's great the girls are on this elite programme, which allows them to train um, two afternoons a week yeah. and early mornings as well, so yeah. through the school. Wow, you must be really fit then. Fit's fit. See, I'm out of breath. I've just been kicking around the ring for about 20 seconds. Yeah? They're both shy, but in the ring they're brilliant. Yeah. yeah. They're both number one in Britain. Really good. Well, best of luck for the future. Hey, we've got an exclusive there, chaps. Uh, well, my name's Gary Randall, and I'm manager of uh, what we call the Excellence Programmes here at Gems Blytho School in Penzance. Um, and one of the sports that we've chosen to follow is the sport of Mai Tai. Uh, we've got a reconditioned gym here so that we were able to move uh, Julie Kitchen up here with her Touch Gloves gym uh, and hopefully promote and help produce future world champions within her sport, as well as introducing the sport of Mai Tai within our curriculum and help build 
confidence, strength and conditioning and fitness for all our students. It's, I mean, it's a fantastic environment for not just touch gloves, but for our uh, school students to actually come in here, uh, seeing the pads, seeing the work, seeing world champions, actually teaching them in their lessons. So yeah, we are very, very lucky to have this uh, on board. It doesn't get much better than that, does it have a world champion? No, exactly. 14 times world champion. And part of the program is, as I said, to develop the next world champion. And we do have, actually have um, Julie Kitchen's daughter as, uh, on the program. And one of them is actually fighting for a world title um, at the age of 14 in uh, a month's time. That's fantastic. Um, it is, it is. And that's part of the program uh, to help develop the uh, elite level, but also to bring the beginners on and give them the experience of, of a global sport that doesn't really get global recognition that it deserves. Absolutely, yeah. Are you a boxer yourself? No, no. Oh, right. <laughs> no Do I look, look like it? Looking <laughs> <laughs> no, look good, yeah. <laughs> We, as part of the school, we run what's called the Excellence Programme, where anyone can join, uh, come and uh, be part of the school, but also join uh, a special programme specific to the sport of Mai Tai, right. um, which is then sort of uh, incorporated into the curriculum. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a great fitness sport, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I've, I've tried it a couple of times. You get me near a ring, I'd run a mile. Right. But get me into the fitness and it's fantastic. Strength and conditioning as well as confidence. Yeah. And yeah, five minutes of, of working out with Julie and, and her husband Nathan and, and you're, you're sweating already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's great for, you know, students to actually, as, as, as part of the programme, come and join the school. We're doing other programmes and other sports. And this one, again, what better way to start than, than with a world champion and, and encourage kids to take part in as I say, a fantastic sport and a fantastic opportunity for them, yeah. So how can people contact you? Have you got a website or...? Yeah, um, for the personal gym, www.touchgloves.co.uk or if you'd like to find out about the LEAP programme, um, blytheschool.co.uk and then you click on the um, Excellence programme and you'll find all the details there. And you can also follow me, Julie Kitchen, on Facebook or, or Twitter or Instagram and um, you're always finding updates of what we're doing. Fantastic. Well, thank you. you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that feels no different. <laughs> <laughs>